Aquablue is a French science fiction graphic novel by writer Thierry Kaido with several artists, Olivier Vatine first volumes and Chiro Toda middle volumes and Stéphane Brangier Ciro, latest volumes. An adventure and military-based series, it also features ecological themes and criticism of colonial exploitation. Much of the series has been translated into German and parts into English. Topic. Plot Aquablue centers around the adventures of Wilfred Morgenstern, called now, young orphan and one of the sole survivors of the White Star Cruise Spaceliner wreck. Growing up on a space lifeboat with only Cybot, a simple but sentient and caring robotic nurse, to care for him, he eventually arrives on Aquablue, a planet almost totally covered by water. Arriving on the surface, Uruk Uru, a gigantic manta ray-shaped whale, takes an interest in him before disappearing back into the depths of the sea. Taken in by the indigenous blue-skinned humanoid natives who see in him a messenger of their gods due to the visitation of Uruk Uru, he grows up one of their own. Eventually he becomes a strong young man, skilled at swimming, diving and fishing to non-human levels, even though he does not have the gills and other water adaptions the locals possess. His abilities, strength and ingenuity, as well as the friends he makes during his adventures, help him overcome the issues he faces during the series. Topic. Volumes. Topic. Aqua Blue, Volumes 1-5 Eventually, Now's idol is shattered shortly after his coming of age, when a Terran company, Tigzek, supported by new colonial policies back on Earth, decides to use Aqua Blue as a location for special power plants feeding on the ocean's warmth. If they are not stopped, they will eventually cause the planet to glaciate and destroy the native life and culture. With the help of his native friends, a repaired Cybot and some Terrans disillusioned by the ruthless colonial expansion, he decides to fight back at the intruders. However, they are guarded by a powerful mercenary army, the Brigades Morgenstern, owned and led by Now's aunt, Ulla, who inherited billions from Now's parents when they died on the White Star. The original series chronicles the fight against the invaders, on Aquablue, in space and in the courtrooms of Earth, where Now tries to regain his inheritance. Numerous setbacks occur, with Now and the natives losing several major battles, but always eventually being rescued by new allies or their own skill and ingenuity. The first four volumes were drawn by Vatine, before Tota took over in the last volume. Topic. Aqua Blue 2, Volumes 6-7 This short series, set after the conclusion of the fight for Aqua Blue and not actually on the planet itself, chronicles the adventures of Now and his friends as they discover the secret of why the White Star crashed in an asteroid field. Introducing a number of new settings in the Aquablue universe which was previously mostly restricted to Earth and Aquablue, it also features a number of new point-of-view characters. Topic. Aquablue Foundation, Volumes 8 11. After the original storyline is wrapped up by Volume 7, Now uses his inherited fortune to create the Aquablue Foundation, with the goal of stellar exploration and the protection of native societies and life forms. In one of the first volumes, he works to secure specimens of indigenous life forms before a stellar catastrophe destroys a remote planet. However, rich big game hunters who've come to shoot trophies on the doomed planet soon cause problems. Topic. Visual style The series is drawn in the line Claire style, though there are obvious changes with the different artists the series has had, with Tota's style being slightly more manga-inspired than the more realistic drawing of Vatine. 
Ciro's style in the latest volumes is more reminiscent of Tota than of Vatine. Topic: Awards. Aquablue received the Prix Jeunesse 9 to 12 ANS Youth Prize 9 to 12 Age category at the Angoulême International Comics Festival in 1989. Topic: In video games. In 2004, it was announced that game studio Kyloton was developing an action-adventure video game for PC based on the comic. Entitled Aquablue, the game, it was to be released 31 December 2004. Apparently, no finished game was ever produced, and the developer does not list it on its website. 2007. Topic. Avatar The 2009 James Cameron movie Avatar bears a striking resemblance to many of the themes, ideas, character designs and overall look and feel of the Aquablue series. <laughs>